Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the importance of understanding and assessing your own individual progress and not always listening to other people. Usually when people give out progress, it's usually going to be best case progress under ideal conditions and that includes even me. That includes when Alan Aragon or Eric Helms or whatever tell you the various growth rates for muscle mass for healthy young men that you can expect based on how many months or years you've been training. When we discuss things like this, Again, those are assuming the best case scenarios. Well, most of you out there listening probably don't have the best case scenario, so it's okay if you fall short of those. Like when I say to people uh, on my novice program, for example, at the end of the year, most healthy young men who are able to follow the program correctly will be bench pressing two plates aside for reps, they'll be squatting three plates aside for reps, and deadlifting four plates aside for reps. So that's not saying that everyone's going to do that. Maybe half of the healthy young men who follow that program are going to have an ideal lifestyle situation. That's assuming that they have a minimal stress school, minimal stress job, they're not trying to raise kids, they don't have a really stressful career, things like that. What you're going to find though is that if you have outside stressors going on or any health issues going on or maybe you don't have the best of diets, your diet's not perfect. Uh, maybe you don't get enough sleep because you party a little bit on the weekends. Those things can go down a little bit. And you know what? That's okay. You have to live life. And when it comes to even fat loss, it's the same thing. If people say, well, a person at this weight shouldn't lose more than two pounds of fat per week, that doesn't mean that you should be losing two pounds of fat a week or you're not being successful. The faster you're making progress with any physical or fitness endeavor, oftentimes that comes at a price in general. Gaining muscle at the maximum rate might leave you fatigued and tired. It might leave you a little sore. It could interfere with your day-to-day -day life. The same thing with losing body fat at the maximum safe rate for someone at your current body fat. Those are maximum results. They carry an inherent risk. You're going to have a higher risk of getting sick easier because your immune system is going to be compromised. You're probably going to be more irritable. You're going to be more tired as a result of that. It could affect your career. It could affect your grades at school. It could even affect, in some cases, your ability to even be a good parent if you have children. Same thing with maximum muscle growth and strength rates. They also carry a higher inherent risk of injury because you're pushing things to that limit also. So those are again the maximums. And you need to remember guys that fitness is about a lifestyle. It's about a journey. It's not about how fast can I get from point A to point B and not care about the consequences because there can be consequences uh, to going as fast as possible. And stop comparing yourselves to other people and letting other people dictate to you how fast you should be making progress because at the end of the day when you assess the fact that this is just about self-improvement it's about the journey the lifestyle not just the destination step back and assess hey am i making progress at all if you can see any change in any of your physical or fitness oriented goals from month to month even if you've set three goals and in one of them it's improved from where it was a month ago you've made progress you have still improved you have still been successful because you are at least making progress. Even if it's slow progress, you are making progress towards a goal that is important to you, that is going to improve you in some way. And as long as you are making progress and you are getting better, you're not a failure, you are being successful. And the thing that you need to always remember with this stuff is that oftentimes when people talk about results or what can be done, those are assuming best case scenarios under ideal conditions. Most of us out there do not have ideal conditions for these things to happen. We don't always have the ideal environment and that's okay because we have lives to live outside of our fitness and our progress there. All right guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.